Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today's video is going to be a fall clean with me and cook with me. The first part of this video will be cleaning and undecorating and then I'm sharing the ultimate Thanksgiving meal inspo with you guys. There's going to be five different recipes plus a drink idea, so a lot of motivation and ideas coming your way. Thank you so much for picking this video to watch. I hope it gets you all inspired. If it does, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. We'd love to have you here and let's jump Jump right in. The first thing that I'm doing is clearing off the entryway table. I had random things on there, so I wanted to get that taken care of. The day that I filmed, it was actually cold and rainy, so it was essentially the perfect day to get it all done. I definitely was not leaving the house, so I tried to make it as relaxing as possible by lighting candles, listening to some music, but let me know down below what you're tackling today or checking off of your list. My plan for this video was to take down any of the remaining fall decor I had up so I could start with a blank slate before decorating for Christmas. So you're going to see me throughout the video putting some stuff away. I always like to give you guys a little rundown of what's to come, but I'm really excited to decorate this year for the holidays. I have found a ton of new stuff over the last few weeks and I am so, so ready to see it all come together. You and me, you and me. We don't need no one else than each other. You and me, you and me. We could run, run away You and me together, baby, we don't gotta stay Let's lose, lose our minds We could go crazy and leave it all behind As I was gathering all of this stuff off the table, I picked up this wrapper. I had to share it with you guys. I just had it for lunch, but it's the new seasonal flavor candy cane from the Perfect Bar Line. And oh my God, it's so good. If you like mint, you definitely have to check these out. I just picked mine up at the grocery store. But back to cleaning, I'm now continuing to get things situated in the living room and dining room, putting all the pillows back and then wiping things down. What you feel? I don't even know if this is real How can you like me? You're as close to perfect as anyone can be You and me, you and me We don't need no one else than each other You and me, you and me We could run The first thing that I do whenever I start to clean up the kitchen is I will get the countertops as cleared off as possible. So first I'll collect all of the dishes and bring those over to the sink area. The crock pot of course is so big that I just left it on the side and then I'll put away all the randomness on them like the salad dressing, papers, containers, things that have been left out and then I will get to work on the dishes and speed through rinsing those to get them into the dishwasher. Cause now I dream about you. I was probably too drunk, it's blurry, but I've got the image of you running circles in my mind right now. And it could fade away, but it probably won't, and I should let it be. But I'm gonna dive, dive into you, and maybe I'll drown, but what can I do? And it would be alright to let me down Rather we try than let these feelings slide So I'm gonna dive, dive into you It doesn't even make sense Why we try to fight it Every time that we touch, the room caught on fire We could blame it on the wine But we know that we will both be lying I wish I didn't want you 
was doing just fine The way that it was Then you hand me these emotions Didn't want them But I guess that I'm stuck with them They could go away But I know they won't And I should let it be But I'm gonna die we are making some progress in the kitchen. The sink is scrubbed down. I'm drying the crock pot, putting that away. And now it's time for the counters to be wiped down. And then I will grab the fall decor that's out in here. And that reminds me, you'll be seeing this the day after Halloween. So let me know how it was down in the comments below. Were kids trick-or-treating in your area? We rarely have children stop by, but I always leave out a bowl of candy in case they do come by. Yep, we're those people. But let me know how yours was. Doesn't even make sense why I think about you. It was only one night, only that time, and it's not my style to be caught up in the middle like this. But I'm gonna die. One thing I always rotate out after each season are these hand towels. I store them in the drawer to the left of the stove and as you can see, we don't have a lot of storage. So to save space, I pack them up with the rest of the decor to make room for whatever holiday is next. And then after we finish in here, I'm running up the stairs to grab the bin and then I'll be ready to put everything into it. When it comes to storing stuff, I kind of just throw things in there. There's no rhyme or reason. And since we only bring it upstairs into the attic, I don't wrap things since nothing really being moved around too much and I like to be able to open it pop my head inside and see what's in it without having to take everything out so I'm going to do that wipe down the table and then vacuum downstairs Just a few more things that I wanted to take care of in the front of the house. One being the lights, they were getting pretty dusty. So I'm using a dry dusting cloth on the first one. And then on the second one, which I'm working on now, I'm using a glass cleaner because they are mirrored just to make them shiny again. And since I had everything out, I also took the opportunity to wipe down the hallway frames. I put the ladder back in the garage and then I'm unboxing some hangers that I had just got in the mail.
I'm going around the room collecting all of the cans, trash, makeup wipes, whatever is out. And I always like to share deals with you guys. And these hangers, the ones that I'm unwrapping right now, are one of my favorite purchases from Amazon. You can select from so, so many colors. I just chose a white hanger with a black metal part on top. And for a pack of 50, it's way cheaper than Home Goods or any store like that. If you are in the market for them, definitely check out Amazon. You won't regret it. They truly are the the best so I'm just picking up the rest of this garbage making the bed and then we'll go from there I'm almost done with the clean with me part of this video. I'm finishing up in the bathroom and then I'm going to mop the floors downstairs with some hot water and Tide powdered laundry detergent and then we will get to all the recipes. And now it's time for the cook with me portion of today's video. First up, we're making the appetizers and I'm starting with an apricot baked brie. You'll need some crescent rolls, brie cheese, apricot preserves, and some crackers for serving. After you've added the preserves to the top of the brie cheese, you'll cover with the crescent rolls and bake until golden brown as instructed on the package. For this recipe, you're going to use mini sweet peppers and also jalapenos. If you don't like spicy, you can just eliminate them and do more of the sweet peppers. And I'm also trying for the first time this cream cheese that's made with Greek yogurt. We use Greek yogurt for a lot of substitutes, but I've never tried it in a cream cheese form. So I'm sure it will taste just as good, but traditionally you would use regular cream cheese for this recipe. The first step is to take the peppers, cut them long ways, and take all the seeds out. Then 
you'll take some bacon and you can use turkey bacon i go back and forth i just have bacon today and i'm cutting it in half so the strips are smaller then we're going to take one of the peppers stuff it with the cream cheese i don't put too much in there but a good amount and then wrap it in the bacon Next up are these maple pecan twice baked sweet potatoes. This recipe is based on four small potatoes or three large. You're just going to start by cooking your potatoes on 400 until they are soft. Once they are cooked through, you're going to scoop out the inside, try to leave the skins whole and intact, and then start combining all of the ingredients. Just a side note, I don't like my sweet potatoes too sweet, but you can definitely add more brown sugar if you feel that it's needed. Once everything is mixed together, I'm going to scoop the filling into the sweet potato skins and then make the topping. Okay, so the first step is to take a corn muffin mix and bake it as instructed on the package. So I'm just going to follow all the instructions here and get this in the oven. Next, we're going to be making a zucchini and squash casserole, which is seriously amazing. While the cornbread is cooking in the oven, I'm dicing the zucchini and the squash and you need about four to four and a half cups of each. I switched out the pan just so there was a little bit more room, but now I'm going to cover this in water and start cooking this on the stove. This is the mixture that will help combine it all together and what gives it so much flavor. So I'm melting one stick of butter and then adding one and a half cups of onion, salt, pepper, garlic, and parsley. The last part to this is three chicken bouillon cubes and then this can be set to the side and we're moving back to the squash and the zucchini. Before draining it, you wanna reserve one cup of the water. Now it's time to assemble. I poured the zucchini and squash into a baking dish, added eight ounces of cheddar cheese, but really who's measuring? You can add as much as you want. And then I dumped in the onion mixture. Next, I'm taking this cornbread and I'm just going to crumble it on the top. And this is where you're going to add in the one cup of the reserved water. Mm -hmm. 
You could definitely make this dish ahead of time. If you were, at this point, you would go ahead and freeze it, but because we're eating it tonight, I'm going to cook it. So I'm gonna cover the entire casserole and place it in the oven at 350 degrees for about an hour. But the last 20 minutes, I'm going to take the tin foil off and let it cook that way. The last side dish is a butternut squash mac and cheese. You can do this one of two ways, on the stove or in the crock pot. I chose to do it in the crock pot for this video, but either way you want to start by completely cooking your butternut squash and your pasta. The cooked noodles are going straight into the crock pot. Now I'm combining three tablespoons of butter, three cups of milk, one eight ounce package of cream cheese, the cooked butternut squash, and anywhere from two to three cups of cheddar cheese. Cook for one and a half hours on low or until all the cheese and milk are combined and you're ready to serve. Last but definitely not least, I know this is everyone's favorite part, the cocktail. I'm going to be showing you how to make a caramel apple vodka drink and I'll insert everything you need right now. I have some ice in a glass and I'm just going to do one shot of the caramel vodka. And then I'll fill the rest of the glass up with some apple cider. And then an apple for garnish. It's as simple as that, really, really good. The perfect drink for fall in my opinion. So definitely let me know if you try it down below in the comments. Let me know how you like it. It's currently 11 a.m. on Saturday morning, but someone has to drink this, so I guess it's never too early and it's Halloween, so cheers. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it and you got a ton of cleaning motivation and also some ideas for this Thanksgiving. If you did, definitely give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you back here in a few days. Bye.